Well, it's finally here. That time in August 2016 when after much anticipation, build up and no small degree of scandal, the Rio Olympics are set to kick off. But what can one expect out of these summer games? The Olympics contain a lot of events, too many to watch them all without some kind of time turner. So you have to pick and choose as over 2000 hours are set to air. But NBC is set to stream up to 4500 hours on their website with concurrent streams for events going on at the same time. So you can have dual screen action like some kind of villain or security security guard. However, after 30 minutes, you'll have to log on with your TV provider. As for tourism for the athletes and people coming to watch the games, well, Brazil is in the midst of what is being called the worst recession in its history, and there is a fair bit of social unrest, not helped by the machinations required to move some of the populace around to make room for these games in the first place. That and the still present threat of Zika may keep some confined more to the direct Olympic areas than roaming the streets. Although rejoice, for Pornhub are sending ambassadors to give free subscriptions and safe sex kits to those visiting to allegedly help combat sexually transmitted Zika. You can also expect to see the first refugee team featuring 10 athletes from conflict zones around the world set to compete in a variety of events. For fans of Michael Phelps, he will be competing in several events in these games, as will Usain Bolt, and newcomer Simone Biles is being labeled as one to watch. Hopefully she can live up to all these expectations, I mean yeesh, competing is hard enough with all this pressure. Some athletes have in fact pulled out due to fears of Zika, citing that the risk is simply not worth the potential reward. That includes some golfers, even though golf hasn't appeared as an Olympic sport for 104 years. Which is surprising, I mean if walking can be a sport, then golf should definitely be a sport. People are also of course anticipating the opening ceremony and wondering what to expect since the budget was slashed from $113.9 million to $55.9 million. But the creative director Fernando Morales stated that he felt that this would lead to a smaller, more intimate performance. In the end, I feel good that I'm not spending money that Brazil hasn't got. You can do something with heart, with concept without spending. Some are dropping hints that as this is Brazil, this will be the sexiest opening ceremony ever, although it will apparently also have a strong environmental theme. The message is Brazil has the last garden in the world, which is the Amazon, and we need to protect that garden. This is a message of hope for the future. This is not a message of oh the world is going to terminate because of global warming. For those not keeping up, the destruction of rainforest habitats and just deforestation of the Amazon has been going on for quite some time, and some feel it is now approaching a crisis point. As for who wins and loses, well we'll just have to wait and see. Are you guys excited for the Olympics? Why or why not? Share your feelings down below. I'm Sasha Wood, thanks so much for watching IO, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. More details for everything we spoke about down there, two videos over there for you to check out and social media to check out too. So check all that out. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye bye.